Over 6 million Filipinos have diabetes, and this number only continues to grow. But those living with the condition can go on to live long and healthy lives. Managing the disease and preventing its complications are key. Among these complications is diabetic neuropathy or nerve damage. This can happen when your blood sugar remains high for a long period of time. The good news is there are ways to slow down the progress of diabetic neuropathy or prevent it altogether. Today on the program, We'll talk more about the complications, its types, risk factors, as well as how best to manage it. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez and welcome to MedTalk Health Talk right here on CNN Philippines. One of the most common complications of diabetes is diabetic neuropathy or nerve damage. How can those living with diabetes prevent this health problem? I'd like to welcome our guests for today. With us is Dr. Jennifer Manzano. She's a neurologist and the head of the Brain Institute of Asian Hospital and Medical Center. Also with us is Dr. Mia Fojas, who is the immediate past president of the Philippine Society of Endocrinology and Metabolism. Diabetes is actually a tricky disease. It can lead to a number of complications, which can then set off a host of other diseases. I'll start the conversation with Dr. Mia. Let's remind our viewers again kung bakit napaka-importante na alam ng mga Filipinos kung ano ang diabetes and what are some of the uh, common complications that go about of uh, uh, hindi pag-control nito. Two things yun, ano? either enough insulin pero hindi effective or kulang. So ganyan ang nangyayari. So tumataas ang sugar, hindi na utilize ng katawan. In the meantime, andyan siya sa bloodstream natin causing damage sa iba't ibang uh, organ systems. Isa na doon would be the neurologic you know, sa ating mga nerve damage. Pwede rin sa kidneys, isa sa mga common. Pwede sa magkaroon din komplikasyon sa puso at iba't ibang pang organ systems. Explain to our viewers kung ano ba tala, ano ang diabetic neuropathy at uh, uh, ano ang nagiging implication nito sa mga diabetics? Diabetic neuropathy just means that there is nerve damage because of diabetes. And this happens when um, the very high blood sugar affects the blood vessels that supply the, the nerve and also um, affects the coating of the nerve itself. So, ang nerve kasi natin, no, para siyang kawad ng kuryente. Merong coating yung nerve. Mm -hmm. And um, around that coating also are the blood vessels that supply the nerve. So, syempre, lahat ng bagay sa katawan natin may blood supply. So, diabetes affects the blood supply to the nerve and also damages the nerves themselves. And this damage leads to diabetic neuropathy. Kapag ang nerve ng isang tao ay na-damage because of diabetic neuropathy, pwede bang gumaling ito? Pwede bang bumalik sa dati? Or once it's damaged, yun na yun. It depends on what kind of ne diabetic neuropathy we have. Most commonly, if you have diabetic neuropathy, hindi na siya bumabalik sa dati. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very important to prevent it as a complication or to delay the onset of uh, diabetic neuropathy. There is one kind of diabetic neuropathy, what we call proximal neuropathy, that usually improves over time. Diabetic neuropathy, this can cause uh, some numbness and even painful ulcers in your nerves and if left untreated, it can even lead sa pagkawala ng, ng limb na yun or ang limb amputation. Lahat ba ng mga diabetics, type 1 or type 2, uh, will progress or has eventually the, the, the potential to progress to have these complications kapag hindi na naagapan or hindi na treat ang kanilang blood sugar? You have to really be aggressive with the treatment sa pasyente at the, at the onset kasi pag ang mga ang sugar control nila laging mataas. It's not just yung ano ha, yung uh, laging mataas. It's also yung time na taas baba, mm -hmm. taas baba yung blood sugar. Mm -hmm. It also damages kasi the nerves. So there's a certain point in time na pwede pang ma-reverse. Simpl similar to kidney problems, no? May tinatawag na microalbuminuria, no? Nare-reverse pa siya. Pero pag sa neuropathy, pwede pa rin siyang ma-reverse. Pero kung sobrang far gone na ang dami ng 
damages na nangyari, posible nang hindi bumalik. Uh, mas common yung earlier onset ng neuropathy sa mga type 1 yeah. diabetic. Mm -hmm. Pero sa mga type 2, humahabol na rin po tayo. Dumadami na rin ang nagkaka-neuropathy ngayon. Pero hindi nila agad na re recognize Para sa mga viewers natin na hindi madalas magpa-check, hindi madalas magpa-check ng blood sugar nila, uh, especially for type 2 diabetes, what are some of the early signs ng, ng, ng diabetes that our viewers should be wary about? Isa sa mga una namin tinatanong, meron po ba kayong nararamdaman na pagmamanhed ng mga daliri at paa? Kasi ito, yung peripheral neuropathy, yung tinataw na glove and stocking na simptomas na kuminsan pagmamanhed, kuminsan merong pangangate, parang may tumutusok-tusok, no? wala namang kumakagat na mga insekto, pero parang may makatilagi sa leg, sa likod, madalas ganoon. O kaya, kasi hindi lang simpleng pagmamanhet. So, pangangate, parang kasing nagpa-fire nang nagpa-fire yung neuron, yung nerve, tapos hindi na nakokontrol, lalo na yung sa ibang mga pasyente, no? Every time they eat, after eating, parang yun ang nararamdaman nila. Either nagmamanhead, pinapawisan yung mga legs or mga extremities or yung buong katawan, pero hindi naman din sila gutop. Yun, yung isa sa mga symptoms ng neuropathy pag uh, tumataas lalo yung sugar. Sa early pa lang yun, ha? Early na parang, mm. oops, tumataas ang sugar ko, makate, parang gano'n. Dr. Jen, are there any other diseases that uh, our viewers should be aware about that does also cause nerve damage. Anything that affects the metabolism of the nerve will cause nerve damage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, nerve damage actually pwedeng mangyari kung halimbawa merong compression, so kung minsan halimbawa na lasing or napagod tapos hinang mo yung kamay mo sa sa chair, pwedeng magkaroon ng nerve damage. It's called compression um, neuropathy. Pero may mga toxic um, substances din that can cause um, nerve damage. So anything, in general, anything in excess can cause nerve damage. Kung mababa ang vitamin B mo, pwedeng mag-cause ng nerve damage. Ganun din kapag mataas ang vitamin B. So um, there are uh, many things that can contribute to nerve damage and therefore neuropathy. Okay, that is why early detection and preventive measures can really help save lives. When we return, we'll talk about how to recognize diabetic neuropathy. We'll go through some of the symptoms and the risk factors of the complication. You're watching MedTalk Health Talk, your partner in healthcare. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez and welcome back to MedTalk Health Talk on CNN Philippines where caring is our calling. Dr. Jen, walk us through some of the different types of complications ng diabetic neuropathy. By far, there are four classes of diabetic neuropathy. The most common is um, the symmetric diffuse um, neuropathy. So, ibig sabihin, almost all the nerves are affected, especially the ones that are seen um, in the feet and in the hand. There is also what we call autonomic neuropathy, which usually presents like bloatedness or mm -hmm. decreased um, emptying times sa stomach. Ito yung mga patients na minsan sabi nila, Doktora, parang bloated ang pakiramdam ko palagi. O kaya parang bumabalik yung kinain ko, Doktora. There is what we call mononeuropathy, ibig sabihin isang nerve lang. For some reason, may carpal tunnel syndrome or yung nerve that is supplying uh, sensation and movement to, to your hand is affected. There is also what we call uh, proximal neuropathy where parang masakit yung buong hip ng patient, mm -hmm. buong leg niya. Pagkatapos, mamaya makikita mo pumapayat na yung muscle. So there's muscle wasting and the patient has difficulty standing up from sitting or even climbing up and down the stairs. So it can present in a myriad of ways. So it's very important that um, the patients with diabetes really get in touch with their doctors. Now, Dr. Jen, meron bang sequence ng mga simptoma sa isang taong nagkakaroon na ng diabetic neuropathy? Meron bang pain muna bago magmanhead? Uh, is there a process na, na our viewers can, can, 
can chime in on. Minsan parang kumakati lang yung kanilang uh, mga kamay at uh, minsan parang namamanhid na hindi nila ma-explain and uh, minsan sasabihin nila uh, pagkakain nila parang parang makate o kaya parang manhid. Now as the nerves get damaged, um, doon na nagkakaroon ng almost permanent numbness o kaya um, loss of balance no kasi yung balance natin is also a function of how well our feet parang um, feels the ground no so later on habang lumalala yung kanilang neuropathy nagkakaroon na ng mas permanent at mas malalang damage even pain na kuminsan sobrang hawakan mo lang sila sobrang painful sa kanila minsan yung bed sheet lang akala mo parang talagang nahiwa yung skin nila no or sometimes even if walang nagtouch sa kanila no even with no stimulation masakit talaga yung kanilang um, nerves, yung kanilang extremities. Also, sometimes wala naman talagang nararamdaman. Kaya minsan may sugat na, hindi pa rin nila nararamdaman. So it's very important that patients with diabetes always keep on checking their feet. Kasi minsan may sugat na, tapos hindi nila alam. And dito nagkakaroon ng what we call diabetic foot. The notion that sticks in their head is pwede kang mawala ng limb. Pwedeng maputol ang paa, pwedeng maputol ang uh, uh, daliri sa paa because of diabetes. Madalas ba ito mangyari kapag uh, hindi naagapan ng diabetes? Kailan umaabot sa puntong iyon, Dr. Mia? Yung notion na yan na baka maputulan ng paa, no? both is a... Uh, may positive effect siya at saka may negative effect doon sa mga iba't ibang pasyente namin sa konsepto yun. Kasi yung iba, sinasabi nila, okay pa blood sugar ko kasi gumagaling pa yung sugat ko. So, in the end, late sila magkoconsulta kasi gumagaling pa yung sugat niya. When in fact, mm -hmm. hindi naman yun yung idea doon. So, gumagaling nga pero improper ang healing ng wound. So, sa ilalim noon, parang hindi pa healed. So, ang pangit ng scarring, that's one of the signs na pangit ang sugar nila. Yung sa positive effect na nung sa notion na yung baka maputulat, so natatakot sila kagad. So, good na nagpapakonsulta. Noon, ang dami po talagang napuputulan dahil lang sa poor sugar control at hindi na alagaan ng sugat, mali-mali po yung paglinis or hindi na dinisan. Yung iba, oo nga pala, yung sa diabetic neuropathy, no? Yung iba kasi, sabi, wala na sila masyadong maramdaman sa paaso. Kung minsan, nilulublub nila sa sobrang init na tubig. May mga pasyente kami dati na nilagyan nila ng mainit na mm. oil. Kaya mm. nagkaroon ng paltos. So, medyo common yan noon. So, ngayon medyo hindi kasi wala masyadong admission ng DM foot. No? Pero, ma madalas nangyayari yan noon na mali-mali yung pag-treat sa neuropathy at saka kung ano-ano na ginagawa sa mga paa para makaramdam. What is your advice para sa mga viewers natin who may have these symptoms? Saan sila pwedeng magpa-check? Uh, is it uh, overacting sa kanila na magpa-check kagad if they just feel something that uh, they think may be a neuropathy? Uh, if you know that you that you have diabetes and you have these symptoms, you have to tell your endocrinologist. Mm -hmm. Pero kung hindi mo pa alam na ikaw ay may diabetes, no, you can always consult neurologist or um, actually any doctor should be able to elicit these symptoms. Eh. Basta maganda ang pagkuha ng history, maganda yung kwento ng patient. Basta ang important, they have to consult. As Dr. Mia, ano ba mga risk factors natin na common sa mga Filipinos when it comes to diabetes? Lahat halos mm -hmm. tayo may relative na diabetes. First degree relative with diabetes is a risk factor. Um... Of course, the history of uh, hypertension, smoking, meron yan. It's lifestyle risk factors. And as for yung ating environment, marami, no? Maraming exposure sa atin and also our culture. Diabetogenic ang culture ng mga Pilipino. Okay. <laughs> Kaya marami talaga. Kaya tumataas ang diabetes sa atin. So we have to change that culture, which is a very difficult. So, we have to start now sa mga parents siguro para sa future ng mga bata malesen. Even if you're at risk of diabetic neuropathy, there are many things that you can do to lower the risk of the disease. When we return, we'll talk about these preventive measures. Your health is our mission here on MedTalk Health Talk. We'll be right back.
I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez, and this is MedTalk Health Talk, your partner in healthcare. Nerve damage can occur if you have diabetes, and this can cause numbness and pain in your legs as well as your feet. And it can even cause damage in your digestive system. While some only experience mild symptoms, for others, it can be painful as well as disabling. And when it comes to diabetic neuropathy, the best cure is prevention. Dr. Mia, what are some of the best practices to prevent diabetes and its complications? Avoid all the sweets. Sugars are the, you know, sugar is the most addicting thing nowadays. No? So stay away from it. So prevention is better than cure. But um, once it's there, once you have type 2 diabetes, you can prevent. There is such a thing called remission. So you can control it by first, of course, proper nutrition exercises of course consult your doctors and take your medication as advised dr jen when it comes to diabetic neuropathy are there any tips or any advice uh, to help prevent this the length of time that you have been diabetic is very important in the onset of um diabetic neuropathy so sometimes no it's even if controlled on diabetes more um, pwede ka pa rin magkaroon ng neuropathy kung matagal ka nang may diabetes. For example, kung 25 years ka nang may diabetes, talagang pwede kang magkaroon ng neuropathy even if controlled ng diabetes mo. Um, what is important no, is to delay the progression of the neuropathy or delay its onset. Other factors can also contribute to poor blood supply to the nerves such as hypertension and um, high cholesterol levels. So if you are diabetic um, and you have to make sure that your uh, cholesterol levels are also um, controlled and um, Malaki na naman ang role ng uh, endocrinologist natin dito. And also, if you are diabetic, um, you have to make sure that your blood pressure is also controlled. Um, most studies will say that dapat ang blood pressure mo should be less than 130 over 85 if you have diabetes. Anong magandang maintenance uh, practice para magandang nerve function sa ating katawa? Number one, you have to have a healthy diet. No, and um, so healthy diet means you eat less of the sugar, less of the fat, and more of the greens. You have to have at least 30 to 45 minutes of moderate intensity exercise every day. Um, kailangan adequate ang sleep natin at dapat enough ang, um, ang pag-inom ng water. No? Also, you have to avoid some of the vices that will definitely have an impact or destroy your nerves like quitting. No? So you have to avoid smoking. If you are a smoker, please quit. And if you are not yet smoking, please don't pick up the habit. And alcohol intake, excessive alcohol intake is actually very toxic to the nerves. Dr. Mia, do you have anything to add with regards to tips on how prevent diabetic neuropathy or prevent diabetes in general? For the prevention of DM neuropathy, what is key is good glucose control, good cholesterol control, and good control of hypertension. So if you have all of those, take your medicines. Don't be scared. Kasi ngayon, mas natatakot sila sa gamot kesa sa complication for some reason, no? Kasi may, there are a lot of misconceptions like sa social media na kung ano-anong lumalabas na complication or uh, adverse reactions from the medications themselves. But you'd better trust your doctor. Kaya ka kumakonsulta sa doktor mo, don't waste uh, your time there kung hindi mo naman isusundan. Thank you very much, neurologist Dr. Jennifer Manzano and endocrinologist Dr. Mia Fojas for sharing with us your valuable insights. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez and thank you for watching MedTalk Health Talk. We'll see you again next time.